Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be another TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. I am so excited to film this for you all today, especially because I did invest in new lighting. Now, it's not all here. I still have a ring light coming, so I think that will help light my face a lot more evenly, but I did invest in some box lights and I think it looks so, so much better than my previous videos. Go like look at the comparison of this video and then say my previous video and everything is so much whiter and brighter and less dull and yellow and I'm just very, very happy with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you like it better, if you can tell much of a difference. So anyway, um, I also wanted to say that there is thunder going on outside because it's summer, I live in Florida, it's the afternoon, there's just nothing I can really do about it, so hopefully it's not too loud and not too bothersome. Um, also, I am trying out, I actually did try out, I am trying out, I don't know, I'm trying out a lot of new products today, so I tried the Born This Way foundation, the new Born This Way concealer, the Too Faced Peach Perfect powder, the Too Faced Hangover setting spray, the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, the Subculture Palette, all first impressions. So if you want to know what I think about any of these items, just let me know in the comments below as well. I do realize that my eyebrows look very crazy. I am not good at doing my eyebrows. I naturally have very, very dark eyebrows, and then obviously I have much lighter hair. So yeah, I, I know that my eyebrows look crazy. I'm, I need to get them waxed, and then hopefully I can practice more with my eyebrows, so that's still a work in progress, but anyways, let's get started. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and here we go. Okay, so for this haul, I have a lot of beauty products, and then I also have some crystals and then a few little accessories to show you all, so um, I guess I'll start off with the crystals that I have. So this first one, I have no idea what it is or what it's called but it was $19.99 and this is actually from home goods so I know this is like a TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul but home goods is part of the same company so um, this is from home goods so I wanted to mention it this is what it looks like it's like kind of like a nude colored rock the back of it looks like this if any of you guys are like you know profound in crystal knowledge please let me know what this is if you do know um but i think that it's gonna look really really cute in my room and like i was just like so drawn to it i felt like i needed to buy it so i did and then the next crystal type item at first when i saw it i was like what the heck but then my mom was like actually that's kind of cute so i'm not sure what to call this the lady at the cash register called it a crystal burst or something but it's this is what it looks like um it's got this acrylic like bottom stand thing with this like gold metal broad thing and then a bunch of these little i think these are rose quartz crystals i'm not sure maybe they're not but um they're like a bunch of them are like glued together in this little star shaped thing so yeah i thought it was really cute this was also 19.99 from home goods and i just like couldn't leave it there you know when you just get like a feeling about something and you like feel like it's yours before you even buy it that's how i felt about that so yeah, those were the two like kind of crystally things that I picked up. I also picked up these sunglasses from Marshalls. These were $14.99 and these are by Guess. And I just thought that they were like cute. I don't know. I like bigger sunglasses because I have a really, really big face. But um, yeah, I thought these were cute. They're just like black with some gold kind of accent on the sides and on the front middle. So picked those up and then I also picked up these knockoff Birkenstocks and hmm, I had to like like get over myself because I love genuine Birkenstocks so yeah I've worn genuine Birkenstocks for years now and I saw these and these are obvious knockoffs but like they were so cute I had to buy them these were $14.99 they are by the brand Cushion Air Cushionaire. They say they're genuine leather, but I mean, I don't know. They're like this style. They're white, and I really like the style. I haven't owned like genuine Birkenstocks that are this style. I've only owned the ones that have just like the two big straps, big straps going across. But I thought these were really cute. Oh 
my whole house is shaking <laughs> so i thought that if i really 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 enjoy these maybe i will invest in some real ones in this style so i'm kind of happy that i get to try this style out without spending over a hundred dollars on a pair of sandals so yeah now um i did pick up two little clothing items that i'll just show you really really quick i picked up this new balance like i don't know if it's a windbreaker or a rain jacket <laughs> It says it was water resistant. I bought it to hopefully use as a rain jacket, but it's just black. <laughs> Nothing too exciting. It's got like a silver like reflective New Balance logo, but nothing too exciting there. And then I also freaking love these shorts. This is my third pair. These are by Adidas. These are called the D2MWSHT um, black shorts. They retail for $28, but I get them for $14.99. And they're just like these like kind of like running short type material shorts. And they, wow, my face is so bright. They have like the stripes on the side. These are so comfortable. Like I said, this is my third pair and I just wanted to share those with you guys. So now the rest of the stuff I have to show you is all beauty stuff. I've got some high-end makeup that I found that I'm very excited about. I've got some body care, hair care, skin care. So here we go. I'll start off with the makeup because that's like probably like my favorite part. So I found two more of the Too Faced bronzers, the full size. They just redid their packaging on these products. So there's they're all over the place at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I got both of mine from Marshalls for $9.99 each which is crazy because they're perfectly fine full-size products they're just outdated packaging so the first one that i picked up is the chocolate soleil bronzer just like the og chocolate soleil bronzer this is what the packaging looks like it's just like their gold packaging and there is the bronzer also i picked up beach bunny which is the one in the like purple packaging and this is like another bronzer kind of product where there's like multiple stripes in the same pan so this is what it looks like i also picked up i think sun bunny or snow bunny i don't know i picked up one of the other bunny bronzers so i picked those up for 9.99 each which i think is well i don't think it's a good deal i know it's a really really good deal i also found another Too Faced product and i about had a heart attack someone actually tagged me in a post on instagram so thank you so much they tagged me on instagram in someone else's photo of like stuff that someone found at tj maxx and they had some of the Too Faced peach kiss lipsticks the matte lipsticks and i was like oh my gosh mom we have to go right now to marshall's to see if we can find them and so we went and i found one so i found the shade got peach um it's like it's like a bullet styled lipstick and this was the only one they had and these are actually on sale right now at sephora for 50 percent off and so that makes them 1050 i believe but this was only 6.99 oh my gosh i'm so excited that's cheaper than like most drugstore lipsticks at this point the packaging on this is like so so pretty and it's like so luxe feeling and that's what the actual color looks like well i don't want to mess up the logo but i'm gonna mess up the logo because i'm gonna wear it anyway but that's what the color looks like i think it's so pretty it actually looked really pretty with the eye look that i have on today but i was very happy <laughs> to pick this up this is like maybe the thing i was most excited about throughout this whole haul so yeah i also picked up a couple of serums these are by the oh valgene i'm sure that's not how you pronounce it but these are from the brand valgene labs maybe you guys know how to say that properly but i picked up two of their serums i picked up the clarify one which has vitamin a and witch hazel and then the hydrate one which has hyaluronic acid and vitamin b5 so i really wanted to pick these up i'm really interested in the clarify one my skin has been breaking out so bad and i don't know why i am currently taking halo beauties like vitamin and I've seen so many amazing before and afters, but like, I mean, I'm still in my first month, but honestly, like, 
I feel like my skin has just gotten worse so maybe there's something in it that doesn't agree with my skin or maybe my skin is just like purging everything at the same time I don't know but I've seen a lot of really good results with it so I'm gonna stick with it obviously but I really hope that this clarify one can help clear up some of my breakouts in this area so I also found a brand that they sell at Sephora this is Saint Tropez this is the gradual tan tinted like gradual tan <laughs> um it says instant healthy glow every tint everyday tinted body lotion and i'm not sure if this is in a shade but i got this for 9.99 i have been wanting to try a gradual tanner because self tanner like freaks me out i know that i would mess it up and i can't mess it up especially because i go to clinicals in a hospital and if i went to clinical wearing my white scrubs with like orange patchy stuff all over me I'm sure they would make me leave so I really wanted to try something that's less like harsh and sudden so hopefully that works out for me $10 I feel like isn't bad for Saint Tropez so that should be interesting and then next I picked up the Ren Pure coconut water hydrating conditioner I found the shampoo in this size on clearance for $8 a couple hauls back I believe this was $9.99 it wasn't on clearance but I saw it and I was like, I need the matching conditioner to my shampoo. So of course I picked it up. I'm not using the shampoo currently because I'm using something else, but I'm actually using a different Ren Pure shampoo that I bought at Target. But once I finish those, I'll probably move on to this and then I'll be able to let you guys know my thoughts. I also found a couple of Soap and Glory products. These are, I'm not sure how you say this. I think it's Orangeasm. <laughs> like orange but it's obviously a play on words this is the shower gel or body wash and it says it's zesty fresh and revitalizing scented with fresh green mandarin sicilian lemon and sweet orange peel oil so um i'm really excited about this i love anything citrus scented aside from grapefruit as i've clarified in my videos in the past but this was $4.99 from Marshalls. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention the serums were $6.99 each from Marshalls. So, um, yeah, this was $4.99 from Marshalls, and this smells so good. Ugh, I love it. So hopefully it works well in the shower, and of course I had to pick up the matching body butter because they had it. This was $5.99, and it's the same scent, Orange Asm Super Rich Body Butter, and this is like, let's see how big this is. This is 300 milliliters, so it's like a decent sized one. They have like maybe a 100 mil um, container, and then maybe even a smaller one, but I picked up the 300 milliliter one because I'm sure I'm going to love it. Next, I picked up the Asquith and Somerset. Again, I'm not sure if I'm saying that properly, but this is the Mango Body Scrub. Wow, that was loud. I have a glass table in front of me, or it has a glass top on it. This is the best smelling sugar scrub I've ever smelled in my entire life. It smells so good. Like, it smells legit like real mangoes. I have tried scrubs from this brand in the past. I'm actually currently using one in my shower now. This packaging label is slightly different, so I don't know if it's like a different line of their products, but I got this for $5.99 from TJ Maxx, and I can't tell you how many of these I've gone through. I highly recommend them. They're very coarse, and they're pretty dense, so they feel great on your skin, and I'm an exfoliating queen, so... This is like my go-to brand for exfoliators. They're in a very similar jar to this and they should be $5.99 and Asquith in Somerset is the brand. Um, I've tried multiple different like ones in different labels and they're all, they all have basically the same consistency, consistency. So I have one more product. Well, it's actually multiple products, but it's like kind of one more product to share with you guys. This is by the brand Crabtree and Evelyn and I was inspired to buy this by Lauren May Beauty, and I don't think she's purchased this, but she has raved about the Crabtree and Evelyn hand creams, and my mom also loves Crabtree and Evelyn. She used to like use it like before I was born, I'm pretty sure. But this set, like, it's so cute. So this is the packaging. It's like a tin container. This was $19.99, so I spent $20 on some hand creams. 
which I don't normally even use hand creams, but I felt like I could not pass this up. So this comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve 12 hand creams. And this is what it looks like. There's so many different scents in here. We've got Pear and Pink Magnolia, Evelyn Rose, Rose Water, Lavender, Nantucket, Briar, Goat Milk, Gardeners, Pomegranate, Summer Hill, Avocado, Olive and Basil, Citron, Honey and Coriander, and La Source. So yeah, I'm set on hand cream for the rest of my life, but um, I'm really excited to try these out. So thanks uh, Lauren for reading about these and making me spend $20 on hand cream. But yeah, that's everything that I picked up recently at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and HomeGoods. I actually have like a whole nother video to film, a whole nother haul to film. So my next TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul, you'll see me in this same outfit, but I will have completely new items to show you guys. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Please subscribe if you aren't already. Give this video a thumbs up. I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!